welcome to Real Sense, and in this video I'm going to review the All Powers R600. I've been using this power station for two weeks now and I'm going to go over the pros and cons and whether or not I recommend it. Okay so in the box you get the manual and it comes in this envelope and it's very basic it has all the information that you're going to need to run this power station correctly and connect it to your phone which I'll show later on. The next thing in the box is this little bag which has the power cord for AC connection to the wall outlet and the adapter for the solar charging which has an XT60 connector to the standard solar connector plugs which means you can directly connect this to most solar panels which I'll show later on in the video. Now here are all the specs. The most important ones are that it has a 299 watt hour battery, it's lithium iron phosphate, it has fast charging so it can charge it within an hour and the max output is 600 watts with a peak of 1200 watts. So on paper it's really impressive and it is definitely competing with the top tier brands like EcoFlow and Anchor. Now the interface on the screen is very simple and informative. It has the battery percentage, how much time is left on the battery, the input and the output and on the top it has all the indicators for what's on. Now on the right it has a flashlight, it's very bright and it has an SOS feature if you hold it. On the bottom right it has the four USB ports, the USB C's do 100 watts, the USB A's do 18 watts. On the top left it has the DC outputs and they do 120 watts max. And on the bottom there's two AC ports, they're covered by the rubber flaps and they're both three prongs and they have good separation between them. Now here you can see the on and off switches for the AC and the DC. As you can see once you press them they turn on and the status bar on top indicates what's on. And overall they're easy to press and tactile. Now on the top of the device there's a wireless pad that does 15 watts wireless charging and a nice handle that can fold within the device which makes the overall aesthetic very clean and simple. Moving on to the right side of the R600, we have a little flap with all the information for charging and the ports. We have the XD60 port for solar and DC charging, which I will show later on, an AC overload protector switch and the AC port. And at the top we have the ventilation grill, which is painted in a green color, which is nice. Now on the back it's pretty much empty and on the other side which is the left side there's nothing only the grill for airflow. And I'll show you later on what the fan noise is like. And on the bottom we have four rubber pads for stability and overall it's easy to carry. It only weighs 16 pounds and the squared off handle is actually nice to hold. And in my opinion the aesthetics and the design is actually well thought out and it's pleasing to look at. Alright so let's begin with the stress test. I typically leave this for last but let's change it up. Okay so turning on the DC ports we see that the Oculus Quest turns on, both battery chargers turn on, and the USB vacuum turns on. And on the DC side, we have the massage gun charging, and with all these devices, we're pulling about 20 to 23 watts. Also, the cigarette lighter port, you can see is turned on. I don't have any additional device to plug into it, but you can see it's pulling power. All right, so let's continue with the AC ports. And you can see that the battery indicator on the laptop turns on and the 40 volt battery charger is charging. So in all, we have most of all the plugs working at the same time. And with all these items plugged in, we're pulling around 64 to 63 watts. And the estimated remaining time is about three hours and i almost forgot the wireless pad so now we're pulling more power and we're still getting three hours of estimated use note that the wireless pad is turned on with the dc button as well now if you see my diy office setup you know that i use the ecoflow river pro along with the diy battery to power my office so i tested the r600 replacing the ecoflow river pro for an entire week and you can see I have it plugged in and the output is around 470 watts. And that's everything in my office, including my two laptops, my two desktop computers, two robot vacuums, all the screens and all the lights. So pretty much the entire office is now running off the R600 with the backup battery. Now the setup does work. As you can see, I can even play video games off a full desktop PC and the R600 has enough output power for this. Now, I don't know if you can see on the R600, but right now it's outputting around 500 watts. And if you were to do this just with the R600 by itself, you can expect about 20 minutes of use time. 
so that is not sustainable but it can be done now there are some major drawbacks to the r600 in the setup and it actually made me look forward to install back my ecoflow river pro the first and most annoying part is the fan noise it gets really annoying because it turns on often and especially for me i work from home so it was bothersome to have it on while i'm in a meeting and it typically turns on when you have something plugged into the ac ports regardless of whether or not it's drawing a lot of power here's what it sounds like For reference, this is the EcoFlow. All right, the second drawback is the UPS or uninterrupted power supply feature. It's not very good. It works sometimes, but not all the time. And here you can see that I'm gonna turn off the inverter from the backup battery and it automatically shuts down the computer and the screens and the R600 does not maintain the output. Note that the laptops are on due to their internal battery. Okay, so one thing I did like is the app connection. It's only through Bluetooth, so it's not as fancy as the EcoFlow, which has Wi-Fi, but you can't control all the ports through your phone, and the setup is quite easy. As you can see, it recognizes right away, and once it connects, you have access to all the ports, and it's very responsive, as you can see. Now with the app, you can also control the charging speed. Under work mode, we have the mute, the standard, and the fast. With the fast mode, it can charge within an hour. With fast mode, it accepts up to 400 watts through the AC input. We also have an eco mode and a timer, and that allows you to change the time that it takes for it to shut down while not in use, so that's convenient. Okay, so now for a Traeger grill test, and it did great. It can power the Traeger grill for about an hour at its max high temp setting, which is 500 degrees, meaning you can barbecue on this and cook full meals on any pellet grill. I also tested out the coffee machine, and unfortunately, it does not power the Nespresso machine. And as you can see, it goes into an error mode, and I'm assuming because the power draw goes over the limit, the same thing happened when I was testing out the power saw. It turns it on for a little bit, but it does not sustain the power draw. As you can see, I have it connected to a solar panel and I tried modifying the settings on the app, but nothing worked. Okay, so let's move on to solar charging. And I have this solar panel that's from Trina Solar. And here are the specs. It does 30.4 volts at 7.89 amps, which fall in the range of the 60 volts max at 12 amp max for the R600. So that's really cool that you can connect any solar panel within that range. And as you can see, we're receiving power from the solar panel. Right now it's about 160 watts and above. And that's due to the solar intensity. And note that the R600 does 300 watts max. And if you don't have a solar panel that meets the specs, check out my video on how you can make any solar panel connect to any power station. Okay, so now for some final thoughts. Here's what I like about the R600. It has a lithium iron phosphate battery, five year warranty, sustainable 600 watt output, pass through charging, app control, a lot of compatibility with solar panels so you can connect any solar panel within the allowable range and the fast charging. Now here's what I didn't like. Number one is the fan noise, which is really annoying. The uninterrupted power supply feature is not good. It lacks consistency. Even though it has the app connectivity, it's only through Bluetooth, so you have to be near the device. And the quality control on this review unit is not very good. As you can see, the light is kind of loose. Some of the DC connectors aren't aligned correctly. So I hope their final units are better built. And last but not least, the price. Full disclosure, All Power sent this unit to me, so you can find my affiliate link below if you want a bigger discount. But note that the price is very close to the competition, which has similar specs with higher quality, only that the R600 does have higher capacity battery, better solar input, and two full three-prong AC outlets. All right, so if you like this video, help this channel by liking and hitting the subscribe button. I got more content coming your way. Till next time, bye.